Okay, I finally decided on the position for the cold frame and uh, what I've done is I've uh, found some old bricks and I've uh, leveled them out and put them all around. Uh, south facing uh, so it gets plenty of sun. So I've stood it on bricks and that will preserve the woodwork. I've also used these uh, galvanized stakes here that you can buy. I've screwed them into the ground just in case wind or maybe somebody may want to uh, lift it off and walk off with it. Well, that deters them from doing that. Um, so I've also, um, we, cause we're using a no dig method. What I've done here, I've actually, uh, if I just dig here, I've put cardboard in as a layer, as a bottom layer, and I've filled this with multi-purpose compost. So the cardboard's in there to um, suppress the weeds, so we've got no weeds going through on the soil, and um, the compost is, is full of nutrients and stuff, so I can, I can start putting in winter hardy crops. That's our final position for the coal frame, and I think it looks pretty nifty, don't you? Okay, I'm getting the first of the crops in now, and the, the first ones to go in here are some white Lisbon uh, spring onions that we started off in these little modules, um, about five or six seeds to, to a cell. And um, so I'm gonna put these in at the back because they're the tallest of the vegetables to grow. So the tallest bit is at the back here. And I'm putting them in just a few inches apart. One thing you can find out when you do a raised bed or, or anything that's it's in um, a contained space is you can plant them actually closer together than if, you, if it was just straight into the ground. So what I'm ju just gonna do is I'm gonna just pop these out now and uh, Okay, so there's about five or six plants in a, in a row there, uh, in, a, in a clump. And it doesn't matter that they're really compacted together because they will grow further apart. This is a white Lisbon, which is a, a winty, winter hardy um, kind of spring onion, so you can overwinter it. It's important that you do get winter hardy crops um, if you're planting young plants at this time of year, because if they're not winter hardy, you can guarantee that they won't survive. <laughs> Finished getting all the crops in now. You can see the, um, I've put the, all the spring onions at the back because they're the tallest, so they'll come to about here, hopefully. And all the Mitsuma mustard, which is the salad crop, um, cut and come again um, stuff, is at the front, which should be a bit shorter. You can just cut the, take the leaves off, a few leaves at a time during the winter. They're very young at the moment. Make sure you've got your, um, your markers in so you can remember what you've planted. And that's it and I'm going to put down the lid and um, because it's uh, getting to sunset now uh, I'm going to put down the lid and keep them warm tonight. Got a little seedlings. And that's it. All done and dusted.